Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're gonna see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions and the potential outcome. So just remember the energy is fluid. The roles can be reversed. Cross watchers, you are welcome here. And only take what resonates and leave the rest. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If the title drew you in, then Spirit has a message for you. So let's see. Where do we need those Spirit guides? Let's go. Person feel about Virgo? How does this person feel about Virgo? Okay, so we got the Emperor and the King of Swords here, Aries energy here, a little bit of air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like this person feels like you're a boss. You are the boss, you get it done, you come off as very confident, um, you know what you want, you go after it, you get it done, you, yeah, that's how this person feels about you. You're very logical, you're very smart, um, you're a problem solver, <clears throat> you're able to just get it done, whatever that is. Tell me more about how this person feels about Virgo. The four wands here. This person um, wants a commitment with you, and if they're already in a commitment with you, they want to take it to the next level. So, I mean, that means like moving in together, or engagement, or marriage, or whatever that looks like for you. Um, yeah, this person wants to take it to the next level with you. Beautiful. Okay, what actions will this per person take towards Virgo? What actions will this person? take towards Virgo. So we have the three of cups here. I feel like there could be a lot of like fun times. They want to like take you out, go do fun things. And the ten of cups here, beautiful. Water energy here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like this person um, really feels deeply for you, Virgo. They have a lot of fun with you. They see you as very determined, very hardworking, and they want a commitment with you. They want a deeper level of commitment with you if you're already with this person. Um, they, I mean, the Ten of Cups is like unconditional love, right? Like it's like that happy family, whatever that looks like for you. The Page of Wands, yeah, they're very curious about you here and they want to learn more and they just want to have this new beginning with you. Sorry, my neighbor's dog is barking. Um, and the Page of Swords here, yeah, they're very, very curious about you, Virgo. They um, want to come forward. They want to have this, these good times with you. I feel like there's a lot of happiness here. There's a lot of uh, like just good energy. I feel like they could like creep you a bit. So like you see them like checking out like your um, story or your LinkedIn or something like that. Like, I don't know, like you'll probably get notifications that they're like <laughs> looking. I think like LinkedIn does that. Um, tell me more about this person's actions towards Virgo. And the Knight of Cups, yeah, I'm telling you, they want to come forward. They want to offer this cup of love for you. Like, if, you, if you're not with this person, they want to be with you and they're going to let you know this. If you already are, I feel like it's almost like a refresh. Like, they want to, like, go out on dates and, like, you know, the pandemic's, like, been hard on everyone. And I feel like if you're already with this person, they um, want to take that next step and, like, you know, take it to the next level. But also, like, do nice things for you and just show you that they really care about you. It's so nice, Virgo. Okay, what's this person's intentions? What are this person's intentions with Virgo? The Knight of Wands. Okay, so definitely like coming in passionately here, but the Knight of Wands can also be like an in and out energy. Cancer energy here. Movement forward. Tell me more about this person's intentions. Judgment. This could have been someone you already dealt with before with wanting a second chance here. Um, but yeah, they definitely want to come in passionately here. They want to, I feel like there's a lot of like um, physical 
like chemistry between the two of you. They want to move forward here. If this is someone from your past, they definitely want a second chance. But again, if it's not, if it's someone you've just been with, they want to like, like, like put, put that spark back into the relationship is what I'm feeling. Like they do, they want to, they want to try and like add that, like the flair, like, I don't know, get the chemistry back. I'm seeing the lovers at the bottom, Gemini energy. Um, tell me about this Knight of Wands. Oh, there it goes. The devil, Capricorn energy here. Okay, so maybe this person does have the tendency to like go in and out, hot and cold, breadcrumb you. Um, maybe they, I just heard sex addict. I don't ever get that, but like with the devil here in the Knight of Wands, like this person could use sex for intimacy. Um, you know, let's see what else came out here in the Knight of Pentacles so interesting because the knight of pentacles is a very slow moving energy it's a, an energy of like a solid offer but slowly and then we got okay i'm saying not those tell me about the devil here tell me about the devil the three of swords and the nine of cups okay i feel like this person Okay, hold on. Tell me more about the devil. This person feels like you are their wish fulfillment, Virgo. They do. Oh, sorry, Virgo. Can you tell I'm really good at cooking food? <laughs> okay, so this person's intentions. The Knight of Wands here, but it's clarified by the devil, the Three of Swords. Okay, I feel like... Um, in a lot of ways, you you are fulfilling to this person. You are their wish fulfillment, but I feel like this person um, finds you very physically attractive, and that's kind of like where this is going. Like they, it, it, it's really heavily physically based, and I feel like it could end up in this heartbreak here for the intentions. It's almost like this person like. Um, it's like an ego boost when they make someone like fall for them and then like leave. Do you know what I mean? Or like ghost, like they like to ghost people. Like it's like an ego boost for them um, with the devil card here. That's what I'm getting. Like, and they're going to be great. Like they're going to come in with this Knight of Cups, really show you like how they feel about you, tell you all these wonderful, amazing things. Um, but their intention is to kind of just like play games. So let's see the potential outcome. What's the potential outcome? The King of Cups and the High Priestess. So I feel like even if this person does develop strong feelings for you, they're not going to say it. And maybe they already have Virgo, but they're not going to say it. Like they're going to stay silent about it. They, they, it's like a power control thing. Like they like to be in control in a way. Tell me about the, more about the potential outcome. Yeah, like they don't want to say anything with that high priestess energy. Like they don't like the fool, Aries energy here. Tell me more about the potential outcome. I mean, their intention is to kind of like keep playing games, but the potential outcome could be different, right? Like things could change. I don't know. The queen of swords here. Whoa. And the two of cups. There is this potential to come together with this person, but I feel like they like, <laughs> their intention is to play games. It's to kind of like, I don't know, like that's what they like to do. They want to come in very passionately. There's a very strong physical attraction. Their actions or they're going to come in with their couple love. The way they think of you is like very highly of you. And then the potential is like to come together here, to have a conversation, to take a leap of faith. I feel like this person's all over the place, Virgo. Yeah, I feel like I'm also getting here with their intentions is like they may just want to like take things super slow or they will take things super slow because they don't want to get heartbroken or you or you will Virgo. Hmm. Let's see. What messages do you have for Virgo spirit? Believe in the impossible. 
Okay, what message do you have for Virgo? You are good enough. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not picking up anything specific for that, but bring love into the situation and conclusions are within reach. I'm hearing not those. Okay. So let's see. What messages do you have for Virgo here, Spirit? What messages do you have for Virgo? Thank you. In the near future, get more information. Oh, a year from now. Okay. Any other messages for Virgo spirit? Opportunity. Interesting. Hmm. Take it how it resonates here, Virgo. Okay, let me grab one of these. This is um, getting into the vortex. Let's see. What messages do you have for Virgo spirit? What messages do you have for Virgo? The thoughts I think determine the relationship I attract. Taurus just got this card as well. So if you have Taurus in your chart, I'd say go check that reading out. Our opinions about our children can influence their behavior. These were the exact cards that Taurus got as well. Interesting. So let's read this one. Not only do does the power of your thought determine which people make their way into your life, but it determines how they behave once they get there. You are the thinking, vibrating attractor of your experience, and the thoughts you think determine everything about the life that you live. As you turn your attention toward the positive aspects of the personalities and behaviors of others with whom you share your planet, you will train your point of attraction in the direction of only what you desire. So like what we think about comes about, right? So let's see, tell me more about Connections, bear what messages you have for Virgo. Thank you. We have community number eight, and we have milk and honey number 51. I want to read milk and honey in the reverse here. 51. Okay. A nameless unease compels you to turn to pleasure and to comfort as a means to escape what's really going on. It works in the moment, but only fleetingly, before the feelings return and you need to re-up until you're exhausted. Feeling worse than before, you may continue struggling or you may see the light and choose to surrender to spirit. Now is the time for practicing extreme self-care. If you can, do so before you engage in behaviors you'll regret later. You are so loved, so cared for. Feel love and compassion for yourself. Turn your troubles over to the divine for healing. That's all that counts right now. I want to get one of these too. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo? Thank you. The Seven Star Sisters, Birthing Creations, Tapestry of Life, Expressions. So I feel like that's like that manifestation piece, what we think about comes about. And lifting the veil, questioning everything, anything unaligned must go. Interesting. Okay, Virgo, I hope something here resonated. Oh, you know what? Sorry, I forgot. I'm going to do this. Let's see. Okay, so we have the letter D. Could be relevant. E, and it's stuck to the C, so E or C. Um, v, W, and the number five. So five is all about obstacles, overcoming challenges. So, okay, Virgo, let me know if this resonated with you down below. I'd love to hear from you all. Thank you so much for your beautiful energy. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn and love and light.